Virtual memory, one of the least understood concepts when it comes to computer architecture and organization. Virtual memory is the concept that allows programs to address memory spaces larger than physical memory. Physical memory is the amount of memory that you have, and we normally just look at real memory as the amount of memory in a machine. So let's say your machine has 256 megabytes of real memory. You can address an address space far larger than just 256 megabytes. Without going into tremendous levels of detail, what happens is the memory management unit, which is another close component to the CPU, the MMU, will translate addresses. The way he works is, let's say that your program wants to request a memory access. He needs to read from or write to a specific place in memory. Well, his address is the virtual memory space, which can be gigabytes and gigabytes large. Even though your machine only has 256 megs, he can address far more. Whenever your program asks for data from a specific area in memory, the MMU stands in between your request and the CPU. He translates that address into a page frame. Now, a page frame is just a part of physical memory. That translation then results either in a hit, which means that that page frame is already in real memory, or it could be a page fault. A page fault basically means you're trying to address something that's not there. In the case of a page fault, the MMU will then generate a fault event, which causes the appropriate page to be physically read from whatever device, probably a secondary storage device, into the appropriate page frame in memory. Then we have all the nastiness of trying to figure out what do we really do if there's no page frame available. Then, of course, we have to write it down, and we start getting into page outs and, in the worst case, some sort of swapping mechanism. So that's basically how virtual memory works. Keep in mind, it just means my programs can address larger spaces of memory than I physically have in my machine.